Okay, today's little routine is for those of you with acute neck pain. So the people that wake up in the morning and you're sort of locked where you can't move your head, it's really sore usually on one side more than the other. You have problems side bending, rotating perhaps. Sort of like what we did for the lower back when you had acute back pain release work. I've got four exercises for the neck to help you. So this is before you do any strengthening work or anything like to fix the whole thing. This is trying just to get you moving. So if you're stuck at home, before you can get to the physio, this is what you can try and work on to try and release to get enough movement to get through the day. First thing I want you to do is use a fold and towel. Now remember, all these are no resistance. So it's all unloaded work. You just have to move it and try and restore some basically movement back into the into the rotation or the side bend whatever movement you've lost where the pain is okay try and get rid of that muscle spasm so what i'd do is do the first one lying down on your back and i'd use perhaps a folded towel now depending on how tall or big you are you may have to adjust the size of that towel but what i would do is lie down which you've probably been doing for the if you've got a sore acute neck you've probably been doing that for a bit anyway but have that instead of a pillow just for this exercise, not for sleeping, but just for this exercise. So that softness there is something you're gonna push into. Now what I want you to do in this position is be totally looking up vertically, so not down or back there, is completely vertical with your eyes. You're gonna try and do retraction in this position. So what I mean is, you're gonna push your back of your head, okay, the back of your head here, slowly down into the towel so what i mean is it's this position here now you probably didn't see too much movement going on here but what i'm using is the muscles in my back of my neck and a little bit of the muscles in the front to try and pull my head and make a dent into this now it's just general you go too heavy it's going to fire up that spasm that you've got we're going to try and reduce that spasm so we're going to try and give that muscle a bit of contraction so you pull it on into retraction here and hold it there for a count of 10. So 10 second holds to try and knock out some of that constant spasm that's going on and then release it. Now what I want you to do while you're in this position is just make sure not, your ribs aren't flaring up and arching your back. So keep them down. You don't flatten your lower back or anything. It's just keep your ribs down a little bit. And then when you're in that position, try and hold that there when you push backwards. So you, I'm at the moment pushing my head down into the towel keeping this I'm not going this way and I'm not going that way it's just that way which is the same movement as retraction the sitting but a lot of people when they're so spasmic when they do that movement they go oh it hurts they need to lie down be unloaded for that muscle spasm to relax so if you're one of those people who finds you can't retract and you're trying to do this retraction like the physio told you and it hurts do a lie down into that. That provides a little bit of resistance. Now, yes, I said these are unloaded. They're unloaded for lots of resistance. The little bit of resistance you get when you push backwards knocks out some of that spasm. So try that as your first priority. The second thing I want you to work on is trying to do some rotation. And the easiest way of doing that is use a ball to rotate with. So what I suggest you do, take that away, put the ball there, and you're going to aim for the rotation to the side that you've lost. All right, so you're trying to go for that first. So if I can't rotate right, the pain's on my right hand side, what I suggest you do is put your head on that ball, okay, to about there. And what you're going to do is slowly rotate towards that side. Now the good thing about this is I don't need much muscle work, if I come back again, to rotate to one side because the ball allows me to rotate way easier. So this is allowing you to rotate without any muscle work really going on. You do a little bit, but it's so minor, it shouldn't trigger that spasm. So we're trying to get back movement through the joints without that threat level of using your muscles too much. And you just gotta try and just go gently towards where the pain is. So if the pain's here, you come towards the pain, back away from the pain, and just repeat to the same side. So I do about sort of 10 of those. That my head's fully supported on here. I don't need any muscles to hold my head up. And just rotating, using that ball as like a rolly fulcrum, if you like, to roll back and forth. You'll find that really effective in getting back rotation to that side. Most of the time, people have pain on the same side as where they've lost the rotation. But you'll find, you do sort of, you know, 
three or four sets of that, of 10, rotate, you'll probably find that all of a sudden you've got a bit of movement back. Remember, this is just to get some of the movement back that you've lost to just to get you moving, get you going, get to the physio and get it properly assessed and sorted out. This will help you in those first for a few hours or a day if you have to wait, okay? So that would be your second one. Okay, next one is retraction again, but it's in prone. Now the reason you're doing this is again, you get some rest period, you get another set of retractions in, and you're doing it without sitting or standing. So you're getting a rest period, which may help you, and it's maybe why you're struggling a little bit with your sitting and standing, trying to do it, is you get a switch off, and you've got gravity to assist the strengthening part of it, right? So what I mean by the rest period is you can rest your head on your hands like that in between sets, and the, well the rep range, if you like, is about 10 seconds of you pulling away into retraction and holding it there. Now you've got to hold the range that's comfortable. I don't want you going so high that it hurts. So just work on the range that you can do and it's a 10 second hold and down and there's your rest period so the muscles can switch off. So you're still getting a retraction movement done, getting some muscle work done in here, but you're getting a rest period. Hopefully it's going to get you out of spasm a little bit more. A couple of things to remember with this one is don't go into extension. That's another exercise so when I when you lift up, don't go into that position and try and look forward and bend your neck. All right, we are just that movement there. Got no extension. Down at your hands or in front of your hands the whole time. So when you lift up and down, head is not extended. And work on trying to release it with a trigger point ball. Now, if you haven't got a hard sort of lacrosse ball like this, you can use a tennis ball. Um, try and raise it on either yoga block or a book or something like that so it's a little bit easier for you meaning if I have that down here it's sort of going to get lost underneath my neck so I would have that in there and then when I rest my head in there put that right on below the occiput so right below the skull so not on the bony part just right below it where you find there's some relieving pressure, especially some of those people who feel, you know, if you've got a bit of a tension headache starting from having that really tight neck, this is really relieving. Now, with this one, I wouldn't just stay there and just hold it there. What I would do is roll it back and forth again to help you with a bit of rotation. But what you're doing now is you're pushing the ball through the tissues, okay? And it's in the upper cervical spine. So you, you know, most of the time, these problems happen in the upper cervical spine. So if you can try and release that, that's your best point to start with, it might be a lower cervical problem, it might be a disc problem, but you won't get that, know that until you see the physio. So for the moment, try and work on restoring a little bit of movement and release as much as you can to help you through the day. And these sort of things are great little tools to get you on that road, all right, and get that released off. So work on that, see if you can release some of that tension to help you with that movement, and then you find that if that frees you up, wait a couple of hours, maybe use some heat, and then do it again, and then finally book that a physio appointment to try and get in and get the whole thing sorted out. So there's my little tip for the acute neck pain people out there. I hope that helps you. See you next time.